James Joseph Brown was a very prominent American musician who contributed immensely to the development of several musical genres including soul music, funk music, and rap music. Over a career spanning six decades this highly influential artist redefined the way music was created in America. Regarded as one of the founding fathers of funk music, he has earned many epithets, the godfather of soul, the original disco man, and Mr. Dynamite. Brown's life story is a typical rags-to-riches tale, born into abject poverty during the Great Depression, he had a difficult childhood and became involved in street violence and crimes as a youth. After a jail term he turned to music and joined Bobby Bird's vocal group, the Gospel Starlighters. Blessed with an emotive and powerful voice he easily became one of the group's leaders. The group was renamed as The Famous Flames and performed at nightclubs and became popular with the song, Please, Please, Please. By the 1960s, the unique music which Brown created was becoming known as funk music, his song, Cold Sweat, which hit number one on the R&B chart was cited as the first true funk song by music critics. Brown's touring shows were the most extravagant production in American pop music and he could perform more than 330 shows in a year. James Brown was born to Joseph James and Susie Brown in a small wooden shack during the Great Depression. He is of African, Chinese and Native American ancestry. His parents broke up when he was small and he spent his life in extreme poverty, often living with relatives. He went to school till the seventh grade. He was naturally talented and started singing in talent shows as a child. He also learned to play piano, guitar, and harmonica. He became involved in crimes as a teenager and was convicted of armed robbery at 16 and sent to a juvenile detention center. There he met Bobby Bird who had a gospel group that performed in prison. The two became good friends. Brown joined Bird's vocal group, the Gospel Starlighters. The group was renamed as the Famous Flames and released their debut album, Please, 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 in 1958. The title track of the album became a big hit and charted at number one on the R&B chart. However, the band could never replicate their initial success and broke up. He released the ballad, Try Me, in 1958 which peaked at number one on the R&B chart. He also organized a new backing band that was led by J.C. Davis. He revived his relationship with Bobby Bird. During the 1960s he released a number of songs that became huge R&B hits, Night Train, Lost Someone, Baby You're Right, and Prisoner of Love. His popularity with the audience was soaring and he was becoming a big star. In collaboration with Bird, he formed the production company, Fair Deal. He was a very hard-working performer and toured relentlessly throughout the 1950s and 60s, sometimes performing up to six nights week. His hectic schedule earned him the name, the hardest working man in show business. As a black singer he attained the status of a cultural icon who stood for black pride. Several of his songs, the most notable one being, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud, contain social messages that the black community could connect to. By the late 1960s the unique sound of his music had begun to be defined as funk style. His song, Cold Sweat, was called as the first true funk song by some music critics. This song was the first of his recordings to feature a drum break and a single chord harmony. His musical style was continually evolving and formed the base for the development of several musical genres. He also had a major influence on the techniques of rapping. He was a very good dancer and could perform effortlessly all of the dance moves that were popular during his time, the camel walk, the mashed potato, the popcorn. He was well known for his energetic and intense performances. His tours were very popular and his touring shows were considered one of the most extravagant in American popular music. There were between 40 and 50 people in the James Brown Review who traveled with him to cities all over the country to perform. He could perform more than 330 shows in a year. 
Known as the Godfather of Soul, he was without doubt one of the most influential musicians and dancers of the 20th century. He was one of the founding fathers of funk, soul, and rap music and is considered to have heavily influenced artists like Mick Jagger, Michael Jackson, and Jay-Z.